Hello? Welcome? How do you do? Howdy? Good afternoon? Good evening? Good to be here? I'm gonna play some more Boston. Defender of Boston. Rock Island Mystery today. I made some very solid progress yesterday. So we'll see if we can follow up on that progress. I'm gonna have to take some risks in doing so. There's a solid chance that I die and I lose everything. <laughs> I have to start over from the beginning because this is an awesome game with permadeath. But, like they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, do, do, um, let's do some game planning real quick. Hey, Mega Drivers, Gangrel, good to see you guys. Uh, where's the game feed? Game feed. <laughs> she don't need defending. Well, I don't think Boston's seen too many fish man beasts yet. That's why we're trying to defend against the fish man beasts and Nyago and the feds and all that stuff. Hey, Tango Bunny. The mysteries have not been solved yet. The Rock Island mystery still stands strong. We shall persevere. <laughs> King girl, thank you for the host. I saw that one coming. I'm I'm wising up to your tricks. So let's do a quick recap of what we learned yesterday. Quick. <laughs> Mega drivers, thank you for the host. Enjoy Tim Curry's laughing. So yesterday. Found some cool stuff. Learned a lot. I learned that there's tunnels underneath Rock Island and they're connected. They go from here to here to here to here. Which doesn't seem too useful. But they could be connected also up to here. Maybe to here. So one thing I want to do is explore these tunnels. I need to go to Bat Cave. See if I can dig a tunnel here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Um, I'm currently resting somewhere up here or up here. I did recover an artifact from here. The magical artifact. Mystical magical artifact. Which is one of my primary objectives. I haven't done anything with the artifact because as soon as I recovered it yesterday, I got attacked. All hell broke loose. I got very, very, very sick. I almost died. I had to go craft some potions. And I just kind of forgot about the artifact. So I have an artifact. I need to look at this artifact, see what I can do. In this tiny black dot here is the Fed's apartment. I guess it's their shack. In their containment vault, there's a strange creature that I could release. I haven't done that. Maybe I need to do that. I also want to explore Round Hill. And try and dig up something there. I want to explore this area of the map just to see if there's something there because I've never been in this whole area. I want to go back to Rock Circle. What else did I do? I got a rope too so I can go all the way down here and climb down a well. So we got lots of stuff to try. It's starting to get very risky and if I die I have to start over from the beginning so let's just dive into it. Start the timer. Start. Play game two. Oh, one other thing I remember is all of a sudden I started getting brand new dialogue options when I was talking to people. So we're going to have to start interrogating everybody. This is Scotty. I don't trust him. Who's this? Karem Bradshaw. We're going to talk to her. Uh, this is old. That's old. 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 This is a new one. Have you had any strange dreams? I keep dreaming about a bright flash of white light and the sky filling with fire. The ground is covered with a thick black ash and these green men with big eyes, just like the thing I saw at the beach, came out of the ocean. And there was these black blobs flying through the air carrying blocks of rock. It's a unique dream. 
seen any odd animals or odd behavior? Are dogs been afraid to bark? All the dogs are afraid to bark. At least when they do, they bark very softly. They act like something is wrong. I know who would know. Ask John Willits. He lives in the woods. John is odd, but he is very good at animals. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, I'm sure it's an exact replicate, replicate representation of what it's like to live in Boston it probably looks like this too I don't know have I ever I don't think I've ever actually been to Boston this is dice we're gonna talk to dice I know all this stuff right here any strange dreams owls I keep having dreams about owls attacking me and picking the top of my head until my brain's exposed. I'm completely unable to move while they work. I remember their large black eyes and a flashing light. They put a egg inside my head, close, close my head up and flight away, leaving me out in the middle of the forest. These are some strange dreams. Seen any odd animals? Like I told you, the animals on the northern part of the island are acting really odd. They will attack you just for looking at them. What I think is behind all this is those three strangers that just moved into that house on the northeast corner. When they walk by, the animals go bananas. Steve, Steven Vila's dog got so shaken it puked. I love how <laughs> the names seem like they're typos. But they're consistently spelling Stephen with two E's. So I guess it's an intentional spelling of the name Stephen. <laughs> uh, you can see most of Boston on foot. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, the restaurants. I've definitely heard good things about the food there. It's like, kind of like Philadelphia. They've got really good food. Oh. Well, pretty much every big city has excellent food. Just got to find it. Uh, we have a couple dead bodies we can talk to, so let's do that. This is Nick. I killed him, so we're going to talk to him. He never dreams. And he doesn't tell us anything about odd animal behavior. Who's this? Isn't this person dead? Oh, no, this is Ben Williams. Let's talk to him. He's a farmer. I've heard all this. I've heard that. This is new. I had a dream that little men lifted me out of my bed and carried outside where, where I begin to float across the field unable to move. In the dream I felt small hands touching me on the head and on the sides. Then there was a loud bang and a flash of light and I was back in my room. So these people are all dreaming about being abducted by aliens. Oh! Um, excuse me? Boston? Defender of, um, 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 okay, this is, this is, this is fine. Oh, um, 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 we're, we're, we're going to leave now. Oh, this is not fine. I am extremely nervous. This is the, the what? Um, let's go back in this house. This is tripping me out here. Where's the artifact? Is this like real life right now? Odd artifact. Let's use it. Oh my gosh, we have buttons. Okay, yellow, 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 yellow. I saw four different colored buttons here. Which which one's which? Um, uh, do I have to like? Is this a puzzle? Odd artifact. Use yellow, yellow. Let's press yellow. Um, I'm going to drop this. Nope, it's, it's, the game is tweaking. 
I have a very bad feeling. Uh, pick up, pick up, pick, pick, pick up, pick up artifact. I'm going to save and quit. Let's try this again. I'm scared. Start. Whoops. Start game. Play game two. Exit. It's not doing that anymore. Who's this? Who's this? What just happened? What? What? Let's go here. Sky is cloudy. I'm a little unsure of what to think. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Well, let's play the game. Let's start talking to these people. <laughs> Any strange dreams? I had a dream I was standing at the base of a tall tree. There's a voice high above me. Something about danger coming. Once you see that no harm comes to you, there's danger in the ocean in the hearts of the greedy. Don't trust the greedy. Uh, early one night from the candy house when I heard a howling wind high above. Sudden cold blast of air hit me in the face. My feet lifted off the ground. That's the last thing I remember before waking up the next morning in the middle of graveyard with two broken legs. Oh, I've seen that before. <sighs> I'm very cold, apparently. Let's fight this elk. Um, I just, that just totally threw me off i forgot what i was trying to do <laughs> where i was trying to go because the game just freaked out what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the mafia house not the mafia the feds i think i want to release the the kraken this could be a terrible idea. It might cause my death, but we're going to do it. So as soon as I walk in this house, I'm going to start getting sick because I open the containment vault. Oh, it's, it's locked. So we're going to pick the lock. Go in. Everything's red. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow. Open container. The thing in the jar has escaped. An unseen force throws you from the room. The room you were in is now full of twisted rubble. I got a lot of points for doing that. I think I'm like dying slowly. Let's leave. I don't know what that did, but it got me a lot of points, so I'm happy I did it. Okay, my legs are injured, so I'm going to go sleep. This game is so bizarre. What's this? Why is there a gigantic red... What's this red? That's water? Why is the water red? Um, Boston? What, what What's happening in Boston? Let's go in. Okay. Okay. Just, just, let's just calm down. <laughs> I don't know what in the world's going on so i got this strange artifact apparently this thing like does stuff to your mind 
we have four colored buttons on it green, blue, red, yellow. I can press them and nothing seems to happen, but music comes out. I likely need to find the correct combination of tones to play, but I cannot think I've ever, I don't think I've ever been told anything like this. Like there's almost no music in the game, so I don't know. <laughs> Do colors of the rainbow red yellow green blue yeah I'm not sure what this is all about okay so there's a mystery let's drink some beer and um what what else do I want to do Look at the sky. The sky is cloudy. My goodness. That graphical glitching really threw me for a loop. Let's go to the bat cave. Oh, let's go a little bit faster. A little bit faster. And we're off. Vroom! I think what I really need to do is take my rope down here and climb down this well. I think that's a good idea. We're going to go to the bat cave first. I'm very cold. See, the game constantly warns me that I'm getting cold, my temperature's dropping, I'm cold, but nothing really happens. I just slowly, my body parts start getting wounded. Let's kill this bunny. That's not a big deal. I've picked up all the clothing that I can find in the game. <laughs> None of it seems to do anything. So I'm not I'm not sure. Should be right right over here just a little bit. We're moving very slowly. I think in this big opening here is Round Hill. I'd like to stop by Round Hill before Bat Cave. I think. We'll look at the map real quick. Map. Round Hill. Okay, Round Hill is actually south of me. We are moving very, very slowly. Here we go. Small odd hill known as Round Hill. So let's search the ground. Just this, your standard cow pies. Let's find the shovel and try and dig this thing up. Shovel, shovel, shovel. There it is. Dig. You dig a hole. Search. Look at sky. Search. Okay. Oh my goodness, this. It's, it's just crawling. Let's go to Bat Cave.
Where do I need to go from here? Okay. North. Dun 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 bat cave. Ooh, on the wall before is a strange drawing. Look at this. Would you look at this? It's gibberish. Um, ears are ringing. Smell is very sweet and pleasant fragrance. This is the end of the cave. Your ears are ringing very loudly. There's a black granite stone half buried in the red clay soil. Oh, well, let's dig this up. Shovel, dig. Digging here doesn't help. Search room. Nothing. What? Okay. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, let's eat some berries, corn, I could try using like my strange stuff, artifact, I mean if we just need to press one of these, or four of these buttons, let me rephrase that. If we just need to press all four of these buttons one at a time in a certain order, it'd be very easy to brute force all the possible combina combinations. But I get the feeling I need to do it in a very specific spot. P Vortex Inductor. This is what I was looking for. Nothing happened. Kind of as I expected. I don't know what this P Vortex Inductor does. So, we have to try using it everywhere. Looking for my Magneto, Pizro Scroll. Geiger? Oh, we got some Geigers here. Oh. Oh. So, whatever this black granite stone is, it's highly radioactive. So, let's run away. This entire cave is highly radioactive. Not a big fan. Okay, I'm currently right here. We're gonna go kill this wasp first. Got him. still moving very very slowly I, I could also go back to the town and talk to all the people there they might have something new to say to me or something important to say I'm very cold I get it We are defending Boston, just taking a trip through Boston. Technically we're not in Boston, we're on Rock Island off the coast of Boston. They're still trying to defend it. This is how you defend the city of Boston. Hit due south from here. Why is it so slow? I wonder if I'm overburdened. Like maybe the artifact that I picked up is secretly made of like mercury. And now I am just carrying too much weight. Oh, oh this, the ocean is white. 
Is that supposed to represent represent like very turbulent waves? All right, here we go. This could be a bad spot to go, so we're gonna go. This is a well, you can see water at the bottom, we're gonna enter. Tie rope to a solid rock, lower yourself down into the well. This is a cave passage, you see what would appear to be a high well overhead, wait a... I've been here. Yeah, this is just here. Okay, um, more ideas here. This is the desiccated corpse. If we head this direction, what was in here? Nothing, just looks like there's something. I'm gonna blow up this room. So this stone disc here is like a seal. It's sealing in Nyigal, and one of the old ones, or maybe a great old one. I can click move stone disc, and then I just get the life drained out of me, and I die. But in the room description here, it says the cave roof seems very loose. So I'm just going to plant a bomb here and run away. I'll go two squares away. Dude, the score! I was like freaking 800 points! I can't go in there anymore. We got some weird stuff going. I, I I guess that was the right thing to do. Well then what's the whole piss roll, roll yam all about? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I I let's talk to this lady. Seen any odd animals or odd animal behavior? I saw some very large, large frog prints in the mud along the beach north of here. I would try to stay away from the wild animals. Any strange dreams? Bob says not to trust my dreams right now because there's some dark power out there bending people's minds into doing something that could be deadly. He's afraid that some dark power is trying to gain its release, but he isn't sure what it is. He just has a strange feeling. Is this Bob? I forget who this character is. This is Victor Webley. We're going to chat. Uh, he talks about gangsters. I don't care about the house being burnt down. Any strange dreams? I only have dreams about my dear mother. She was the best mother in the whole world. Good for you. I had a pet pine hamster, but he ran away. I'm trying to find Bob now. This girl is following me. She will follow me to the ends of the earth. Why is this door locked? There, okay, Bob, Bob. Seen anything strange? Hey, 
Had any strange dreams, Bob? I had a strange dream about my dad, Yuri. In the old stone tower, read a strange poem and the sky began to burn. A loud scream could be heard deep underground as the earth shook. Dear old dad could have taught those three pink boys a thing or two. Seen any odd animals? There are animals on this island that just aren't natural. Either they've been brought in from foreign countries or those pink boys are doing experiments on them. Hmm. Um, it's almost night time, so we have to sleep. It's now dark. Very dark. I feel like there's something I need to do at night, but I'm too scared to walk around at night. So we're just going to sleep all night long. Let's drink some beer. Our morning breakfast, a couple cans of beer. There's so many items in my inventory. I don't need all this crap. I probably should just start. Oh, I missed the beer. I probably should just start emptying my inventory. Hey, short eye. This is a very special game here Defender of Boston, the Rock Island Mystery. It's very special. It's a DOS shareware game. It came out in like early 90s. I think it was 1991. God, I'm getting the whole gang's all here. All these. Okay, Scotty, can you tell me something? I hate you, Scotty. Let's try giving my artifact to Scotty. Oh, I'm too far away. Doesn't seem to interest him. I I think I just need to figure this out. Bong, 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 bong. Scotty's just a little weird. Um, if you go to his house, the rooms aren't... They don't really conform to standard reality. He's got, like, non-Euclidean walls. He's a little unnerving. going here. Yagnagul. <laughs> um this game's it's like a pseudo RPG slash adventure slash weird <laughs> game. So basically you start out, you create your character, you have all these different skills, strength, stamina, dexterity, appearance, shooting, fast talking, oratory, psychology, teachy, ninjutsu, listen etc. You allocate your stats and you're tasked with solving the Rock Island mystery. You're part of some foundation that defends either just Boston or maybe the entire world. It's unclear. We're part of a foundation that defends against evil forces. So one of our contacts on Rock Island went missing. So we're sent here to try and figure out what happened. Uh, turns out he became came into possession of a mysterious artifact, which is this right here. He went insane. The feds showed up, burnt his house down, killed his wife, probably killed him too, to recover this artifact. From what I can tell, this artifact came into being because Scotty, the guy who just follows me around, He's doing some strange electrical experiments, like building machines to, I don't know, for the fun of it. And he activated one of them and it tore a rift in the space-time dimensional continuum and this thing fell out of the sky. And poor Fred Black, our contact, found it, went insane. The feds, feds got to him. Yeah, there's actually a lot of Lovecraft stuff, like there's old ones apparently there's fish people that if you look at them you lose mental you start to go insane but I've got the special glasses that counteract that oh, give me the light. there's piss row roll yam I'm unsure what that means but those are words that have been said multiple times by me while playing this game 
You know, I can't help but think... Since the artifact plays music when I press the buttons, I can't help but be reminded of one of the journals that I read. So let's read it again. I just have to find the right one. Old diary here. Can't help but be reminded of this here. Um, so this is an old diary of an old desiccated corpse I found. It turned out to be, I believe, yeah, he's a Fed. We don't say what, just by the Bureau, so FBI. 20 years before the game took place, he was ordered to Rock Island to plot the Leylands. Ley lines underneath the, the land. Team has determined that Rock Circle is definitely not made by humans. This right here. We gathered around the circle playing the pipes to lure one. So there's one reference here about going to Rock Circle and playing music to lure some beasts. They capture it. It's a squid in some studies, an octopus in others. Then they also say the piping comes from a cave. There's another journal. If we read Diary of Yuri. Uh, the Alazef tells of them living in vast cities on the ocean floor, half man, half fish race. Uh, not here. Book of Eben. No, that's not important. Strangers come to the north part of the island. I know they're up to no good. I believe they're somehow connected with the government. They're searching the island and spend much time around the rock circle. They seem to be performing some strange ceremony in the rock circle that consists of playing of musical instruments and weird gestures in the air around a bonfire. So these are the only references to music that I can think of. And they both occur around Rock Circle. And he talks about how some strange elephant, but that's not an elephant, smashed a dude's house. Strangers caught something. They released Nyago. Yep, just as I feared it's Nyago. I think I solved the problem of Nyago. I think by blowing up his cave, I just I just solved it because I got like seven gajillion points. In desperation, I will use Pizro Roll Yam to call forth the mighty Ch K Kathaga. But I, I don't think I have to worry about that. Thirsty again. Let's drink some more beer. Beer, beer, beer. Where is the beer? Beer, beer. Drink, drink. Scotty. I wish Scotty would like do something with the artifact. It's... I'm gonna head back to Rock Circle. We're gonna go by way of the town though, so I can talk to the NPCs, see what they have to say. Because ever since I recovered this artifact, I've had additional dialogue options with everybody. So we'll revisit a bunch of people, see what they have to say. Here's a house, totally empty. What a waste of my time. If I just go due north, I will come across the town. Yeah. Do 
See, I could just try and escape the island right now, but I, I don't think I've solved the mystery. There's the artifact. Although I did recover the artifact. Maybe I can just escape. Maybe I just need to recover it. Um, Sheriff? 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 There's somebody in one of these jail cells. Let's talk to them. This is Ivan Keating. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, he doesn't answer anything. Doesn't know anything about the farmhouse. Doesn't know about strange people. Doesn't know about odd places. Any strange dreams? Yeah, dream of a big stack of moolah and a nice long vacation in Europe. Okay, this guy's just a total waste of space. Never want to talk to him again. The Rogers Farm. Let's speak with this lovely M Michael Rogers. Um, I've heard that before. I've heard this before. Oh, 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 I should reread the, the journal. Okay, well, I'm going to read something after I'm done talking to her. He showed me the really strange looking box. It was really heavy, had four squares of glass on the surface with odd writing all over it. That's the artifact that I have. I saw a willow tree the other day that had some rocks surround it in a circle. Any strange dreams? I had a dream I was falling and falling all the time, slowing down until I landed in a clearing in the forest very gently. Dog seems to be afraid of something out in the woods. He even bit me. And yeah. Let's read my mission orders. Stack of mail. So you start the game with this. This is kind of your orders here. Find out what's happened to Fred Black. All we know so far is Fred Black's house has been burnt to the ground. His wife was found shot to death laying in the backyard. He's a very trusted friend of the Foundation. The strange artifacts should be looked into. Find out if the artifact has anything to do with Fred's disappearance. It does. We've been getting reports of odd happenings. Find out what you can out there and report back by letter. Maybe I just need to send a letter. If there are, if there are any problems on the island, do what you can to remedy things. It's important to Robert Faunus and the Foundation that Rock Island and the other two islands of the Great Mystery Chain remain as free as possible from problems. So this is the first letter received from Fred Black. I'm just skimming through it, but I'm just going to read the whole thing. Mr. Faunus, this is very important. Please read very carefully. I have an artifact here on Rock Island that I know for a fact that it could destroy all of mankind as we know it if it were to fall into the wrong hands. The artifact can unleash powers far greater than anyone could ever dream. The thing is horrible. It emits a hyper field that burns the minds of men as well as animals. The ultimate end will be a truth too huge, truth too fantastic to be able to be contained within the mind of any man. You'll find that behind what I have to tell you is a well-founded truth backed up by unobfuscative proof positive. The night of July 13 it all started. There was an explosion high in the air and a red sputtering glow that lit up the island. So I know now that this July 13 is when Scotty was doing his experiments. He powered on his machine and it caused an explosion high up in the air. I'm thinking that was like some sort of temporal rift 
causing this artifact to appear. I went out that night to see what it was all about. I've been trying to track down whatever it was that's been killing Ben Williams' cows. That was the, the feds. I saw something far to the north burning near Ben's farm as I stood atop Round Hill. I saw men walking around the fire. I was unable to tell what they were doing. The next few days, more and men showed up on the island. Most were wearing some sort of uniform. They wouldn't let anyone near Ben's farm. July 17, I found laying near a small pool in the wood, the thing. It's a small box with four jewels set upon his face. It's not, it's not like anything that I have ever seen before. The thing burns your mind. Animals behave strangely around the thing. There's a shifting hyperfield around it. This artifact holds many secrets. All it does is play music. I had a powerful dream about the artifact. It is a gateway to another place. When I went to sleep in the same room as the thing, I was carried away to beyond the wall of sleep. Maybe I need to set the thing down and take a nap? I understand what this thing is, but I will not put it in writing for fear that this letter will fall into the wrong hands. Come to the island quick and see this thing. We need to find a safe place to hide this thing and fast. I fear someone's watching me, following me every move. I have proof positive that this thing has mind-boogling powers. I love the typos. The typos just add to the charm of this game. Hey, Sars. Sars Anovi, welcome. Defender of Boston differs quite a bit from just about everything else in the world. <laughs> this is a very unique game. Very odd. The second letter postmarked July 19. When I awoke this morning, to find the thing missing. This is very bad. If the thing were f to fall into the hands of the wrong person, it could mean the end of life as we know it. Help. We must recover the thing now. You may not believe me, but I will be able to prove everything when you or whoever you send to the island get here. And then suddenly, a couple days later, he sends another letter, completely changing his tune. Please disregard my last few letters. I found the artifact I was telling you about in my earlier letters must have bumped it by accident sometime in the night because it was lying under my nightstand. Found out what it really was. There was a small tag tied to it with the name of Dr. Novak and small writing on the very bottom. I missed seeing that before. It was silly of me to have jumped to the outlandish conclusions that I did the other day. I returned the artifact to Dr. Novak today. He is going to be sending me a reward for finding the lost artifact. Turns out that wild animals must have carried the thing out of their dig site tent one night. The artifact's an old Indian artifact they dug up in the old Indian burial grounds. So there's really no need for you to be coming to the island. Everything has been taken care of. And so that that's the mission briefing that you get when you start the game. That's kind of all you have to go on when you first start playing. I'm gonna set the artifact down and fall asleep. Just have to find it. There it is. Drop. Sleep. 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 It's nighttime. Just gonna keep sleeping. Strange hussies in the room with me. It's daylight. So that didn't seem to do anything. Did not have any weird dreams. I didn't did not get transported to a place beyond dreams. It's morning, so we're gonna wake up and drink a couple beers, eat some candy, and continue playing. We got Joe Rogers. I want to talk to Joe Rogers here. First, we have to kill this elk. Got him. Joe Rogers. I've heard all this stuff before. This one. I had a dream about a tree that could walk. It was a great big black oak tree. The funny thing was it didn't have any leaves. It spoke to me. It said, let my piper go. I turned and tried to run. 
The three men in black clothes and the shadows started shooting at me. I don't remember what happened after that. All the animals are acting strange. Okay, gotcha. Scotty. I don't, don't trust you, Scotty. Maybe I should trust Scotty. I don't know, but he's just always like creeping up on me. Chicken. I'm going to slice this chicken with a sword. Got him. <laughs> oh, this game is so good. Hey, Huratron. The Boston, ba Boston Strangler. Oh, who's this? Is this Naomi? Vicky. Let's talk to Vicky. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. Vicky. Any strange dreams? I've been having terrible nightmares about a grotesque black monster that lives in a cave on this island, wants to kill us all, lives in some covered pit. Keeps calling to me. In the nightmare, there's a man in a leather jacket that opens the pit and unleashes the monster. I've already taken care of that monster. At least I got a gajillion points, so I'm not too worried about that. No animals are all right. They just make a bunch of noise. Scotty's still following me. So I'm revisiting all the houses, trying to visit all the NPCs and talking to them because I'm getting new dialogue from other people. We're going to go into the post office, write a letter. I'm very cold. I see Scotty. Beep. Get mail. Send letter. I got I got mail. Oh boy. This is big. I never get letters. Stack of mail. Read. Letter two. There must be some strange work. There must be some strange force at work on the island. Please search for any other odd happenings. Animals are much more sensitive to the paranormal. You are doing well. Please continue your mission. That's all you have to say. Gina Faunus, if that's your real name. I'm going to send another letter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something happened while I was just sleeping for years. Have you seen new dialogue again? I think dialogue might be tied to what day it is. Have you seen any odd glow or flashes in the sky? That was the afterglow from my high frequency condensers. That is the byproduct of my bion accumulators on my scalar wave machine. I have new new dialogue. I saw those odd lights, saw the same sort of lights back in June. I don't know what it was, but when I saw those lights, I always get shocked when I touch anything metal. What is happening? I'm hoping I just get mail. Did you see a strange light in the sky? I, I don't know what why I'm getting all this dialogue. I think it's due to time, but I'm, we'll just read this. Those were the visitors from another world. They are searching for one of their spaceships that crashed here on July the 13th. They need to find the antimatter pod that was ejected just before the ship crashed. If the pod isn't returned to them, a huge explosion will take place. The Deep Ones want the pod to use as a weapon against all mankind. You must find the pod and contact the visitors at the Rock Circle? We're going. We're going to Rock Circle. Maybe this is like a quest that's time-gated. I'm assuming that the pod is the artifact that I've been carrying in my possession and just snuggled up real tight with it, sleeping. I don't care how cold I am. Yeah, huge explosion is actually very important because to leave Rock Island, 
you find a radio, you radio in for help, and the foundation sends you an airplane. You board the airplane, fly away. You can do that at any time, as soon as you find the radio. If you do that, though, you get two things happen. Three things happen. One, you escape, game over. Two, everybody on the island dies. <laughs> and three, not only does everybody on the island die, but the whole island explodes, taking half of Boston with it. So I think I've solved why everyone dies. I think that had to do with Nyagol. I think by causing a cave-in in Nyagol's cave, everyone won't die. I'm just kind of speculating here, because there's no feedback about any of this in-game. Kill this chicken. And it looks to me like this artifact is what Scotty was just talking about. Some sort of pod thing that aliens need. So we're going to try and give this back to the aliens. And this should prevent the island from exploding. And maybe then I can just leave the island and win the game. Okay, let's walk to here. Stop right here. Look at sky. Sky is clear. Look at ground. This is just standard items you can find searching the ground anywhere. Let's use... I need to, like, signal the aliens. I'm looking for my magneto. I have a magneto. I must have scrolled past the magneto. Don't I still have a magneto? We'll just use the odd, odd, odd artifact. Summoning aliens, just playing music. Let's do every combination here. Bum 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 bum. Is that all of them? No. That should be all of them with green first. I'm assuming I don't have to like exit, pull it up again between attempts. Know if this is going to work. We're just playing music, I guess. Green, blue, red, yellow. What is happening here? Do I need to light a fire? Let's light a candle. Please tell me I don't need to wait till night time.
Hungry and thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top coat. Like, I have this wool coat and a raincoat and a top coat. I can't... I can't seem to actually wear them, though. <laughs> so, I don't know what the point of them is. I'm always very cold. I even have pants, but I can't wear the pants. Blanket, can't use. Shovel, dig. I've now dug a hole. Corn, ingest. It's my last piece of corn. I do have apples. Very cold. What happened to my magneto? Okay. I don't have a magneto anymore. Did I not? I swear I picked up the magneto. I must have picked it up. I hope I didn't just drop it somewhere random like I typically do. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how to give this item back to the aliens. I don't want to just drop it here. Because I get the feeling if that's not the right answer and I just drop it, I'll never be able to pick it back up again. I don't know. I've never really tried dropping stuff on the world map. Let's try that. Charcoal. Drop. Drop, 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 drop. Search ground. See, and now it's just gone. So if I were to drop the artifact here, it would just be gone forever, I believe. So I'm a little reluctant to do that. Let's go see if I can get the Magneto. I, f I don't know where it went. Maybe it needs to be nighttime for the aliens to arrive. Oh, that's a scary thought. Nighttime is freaky time. Not a fan of nighttime. Fish man beasts roam about and they can kill you with a wink of their eye. Excuse me. Glad I was able to mute the mic. That was a powerful sneeze. We're going to a lighthouse right now. Typically the lighthouse contains a magneto. You use the magneto to recharge some of your gizmos and gadgets that you collect along your journey. I swear I already had this magneto, but maybe I didn't pick it up. So it's found in the lighthouse. We're going to break into the lighthouse. Lock pick, pick lock, go in. Search room, there's the magneto. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't get the magneto. Well, that was a blunder. So, we're going to charge up the Magneto. The reason I want this Magneto is because I'm very, very thirsty. I have this machine that I don't know what it does, but it seems to me like it might be a good way to signal the aliens. P Vortex Inductor. I can turn it on. That's what happens. I'm hoping that's a signal to the aliens. Maybe that's alien language for, hey, I have your thing that you're looking for. Please come pick it up and not blow up the Boston. I don't speak alien, but maybe that's what that means. Hey, the sea's back to blue. It's a good sign. Here's my party. Scotty? Scott, do you have anything new to say? No. Let's 
Run away! We're gonna stop by Scotty's house on the way back to the rock circle right here. Talk to his wife while he's out of town. Hey, Mrs. Scotty, let's talk to her. Oh, I can actually talk to her. Strange dreams. I had a dream about the rock circle and I had something to do with cows. In lighting, in the bright light in the sky, but I have a hard time remembering just what it was all about. Odd animals. The other day, a little bunny rabbit attacked me. It was the craziest thing I ever saw a bunny do. Uh, just one of his husband's experiments. Did you see a strange light? My husband had nothing to do with that. There was something up there flying around. There were more than one. <laughs> <laughs> they were bright light, bright white light. They made a really strange sound. Hey, goatee. Welcome. I hope the Intellivision went well. Welcome, goatee and raiders. Good to see you guys. I'm playing Defender of Boston, the Rock Island Mystery. A fantastic video game. I think I'm almost to the end of this game. It's hard to say though. Yeah, welcome everybody. They call me Bill Bull. I like to play old, strange video games. A lot of DOS. A lot of shareware. <laughs> Amiga. Fun stuff like that. This is Defender of Boston. The Rock Island Mystery. Oh, oh the double. The double whammy. The classic goatee double. <laughs> Let's look at the map here. The classic goatee double whammy. Yeah, welcome again, everybody. I'm playing Defender of Boston, the Rock Island Mystery. You might have recognized this game. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm trying to summon aliens <laughs> to save the city of Boston and it's not working. I, I don't know how to summon the aliens. Let's use, let's use my theory. P vortex inductor. Nothing happened. I'm cold. Nothing happened. I'm very confused right now. Very confused. Let's play some music. So this is Defender of Boston, the Rock Island Mystery. Basically you wander around a gigantic map this is the map and you try and defend the city of Boston I earlier today I collapsed a cave onto a great old one from like Cthulhu mythology and I think I got like 9,000 points or 900 points for doing it use the key 
I'm just really confused right now. I've been told that my artifact which plays noises is a alien artifact and they want it back otherwise they will blow up the island. I don't know how to how to give it back. I was told to go here. Odd landmark of rocks arranged in a circle and return the artifact, but it's not working. Oh, we got an elk. I'm going to fight this elk. Yeah, dude, these sound effects are good. <laughs> okay, I killed the elk. Everything about this game is good. Even the lack of feedback in everything you do, that's pretty good too. Permadeath, that's pretty good. <laughs> no saving, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, there's saving. No save scumming, I should say. Uh, let's go over here. This is where the artifact was found. Corn patch here is pressed down in a strange circle pattern. You hear a hu humming noise, feel a bit dizzy. Who's this? Very cold. Landed out somewhere between the house and that rock circle to the west. Yeah, they landed right here. What is happening? What is this game? Where's the dead body? There's supposed to be a dead body in this building, but he's he's dead. He's gone. I don't know what to do. We're gonna we're gonna do a bad idea. This could get me killed. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna wait till night and then walk to Rock Circle. It's now night and very dark. So at night time, very, very hard enemies roam around the world. Giant fish man beasts. I've never killed one. I don't want to kill one. They can just do their own thing. I've got healing right here. Also at nighttime, owls fly around and they hoot and they drive you insane. If you listen to the owls, I don't want to go insane. So I'm going to I'm going to try and just make a beeline to that rock circle and just pray that this is what I need to do. And if I die, my character is gone forever because <laughs> this is a good game with permadeath. So let's try not to die. I'm drinking my beer, get some liquid courage, get my inventory on the artifact. Ooh, but this page has the healing. I'm going to keep it on the healing. Here we go. There's a deep one. He's attacking me already. Run, run, run away. Okay, we're fine. It's a good start. Okay, this is good. Yep, I hear the chirping of the, the evil. I hear deep ones. I'm scared. We're, we're just going. Let's follow this road. Here we go. Stand still. Um, is that a deep one? Look at the sky. Stars fill the sky. I might die. I have to run away from him. Yep, look at it. I'm, I just got very sick because I turned and looked at the deep one. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, nope, run away. I don't... Uh, I'm very sick. I have heals. Stomatic elixir drug drink. Okay, I'm no longer sick. 
There's two of them now. This is bad. I don't know where Rock Circle went. Okay, is it this way? Nope, I'm, I'm to the north of Rock Circle. We have to go back this way. Run away. I see a rat pack. An entire pack of rats roaming the earth. Please, please, game, please be where I need to go. Artifact, use it. Artifact, use. Play music. Nope, deep ones are coming. Run, 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 run. Okay. Um, um. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm very, very thirsty. I'm cold. We just gonna run. Uh, there's a bat. A dog. Just go. Pull up the map. The map doesn't work. It's too dark to see the map. Uh, let, turn on my lamp. There it is. We're gonna head all the way down here. Going on a cross country trek. There's a tree actually right here. I want to go visit the tree. Oh, there's another deep one. Avoid it. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Rat pack. I could probably kill the rat pack, but I'm not going to try. Oh my god. All oh, the red pixels. Ooh. I'm out of out of energy. Please just avoid me. Hey, Briar Cub, welcome. Welcome to the madness of Boston and our attempt at defending it. <laughs> Okay, no, th this is good. We're still in this. Right over here is a talking tree that has tentacles. I've yet to actually converse with this tree. I'm going to attempt to do so now. Deep one, nope, stay away, stay away. Okay, this is fine. Oh boy, oh boy, it's chasing me. Run, run, run! Okay, okay. South? South. I should be very near to the talking tree. Okay, we have a road here. I need to go. Um, I just have to stand still. This is this is a bad spot, but we're fine. Regenerate my physical and run between them. Oh, okay. Nope. We're we're in this. We're still going. I am moving at the speed of a slug. I might become... Oh, there it is! There it is! This is a very odd oak tree. It's the only one of its type on the island. Maybe the only one of its kind in the world. Tree? Let us converse. Let me tell you my thoughts, tree. Ask you a question. No one answers. Nasty. I'll slap you so hard you're going to be walking funny. No one answers. Tree, look at the sky. Stars below sky. Search the ground. Water. Water, water, water. I've been told this is a talking tree, and it's not talking to me. Tree. Oh, dude, dude. No, this is bad. This is bad. This is a bad spot to be. I'm stuck in the water. Oh, oh dude. Oh my goodness. I can't see. There's If you look at the map, there's obviously water around me, but I couldn't see it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're back. We're back in this. I'm heading down here now because there's a patch of ground where nothing grows, and apparently if you go there at night, I, strange stuff happens, which is kind of par for the course for Rock Island. So we're going to go there at night. Another deep one. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Apollo the road. This is very tense. <laughs> See, <laughs> the thing that makes this so tense is the fact that there is perma death in this game. I'm being attacked by a deep one. I didn't even. I wasn't even paying attention. If I die, I lose all three thousand one hundred seventy-five score, and that would be an absolute travesty. Okay. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad. It would take me, like, maybe an hour to get back to where I am now. But I don't want to. I want to not die. I'm very cold. But this is still fine. Uh... 
Um, we got something here. Just avoid it. Okay, very good. So, hey, Bun Bun, welcome. Sorry I didn't say hello. Lone Willow Tree with a circle of stones around it. So this is where you dig up a key. I've already dug up the key. I don't need to do that anymore. Let's head down this direction. Um, um, I have to stand still. I don't know what this is. I don't want to look at it. Just, just keep going. Here we go. We have a well on the left. Ground here is a powdery dead wasteland. Nothing grows here. So we're going to stand directly on top of this. Look at the sky. Search the ground. Just nothing happens. There's a deep one. Okay, let's go this way. Ground here is a powdery dead wasteland. This is needle rock. Look at the sky. Search the ground. Deep ones is getting dangerously close to me. What do you do? Let's we're going in the well. Okay. Okay, we can take a breather now. We're safe down in this well. Oh my goodness. So what do I what am I supposed to do? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Well, I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how to do it. Scotty told me the artifact that I have in my possession. We'll review this. Odd artifact here. This is some sort of alien spaceship thingy mabobber. The aliens want the spaceship thingy mabobber back. I'm supposed to go to the rock circle and give this back to them. Um, green button's black probably because of the limited color palette and they're just kind of stuck. Maybe it's a freaking bomb and that's a timer. Maybe I only have three colors left and it explodes. We got this guy. But he's... he's nothing to worry about he's nice once upon a time you could walk south from this square and that's where Nyagol was he was sealed by a elder sign but I planted a bomb there caved in the cave caused a cave in and got like 900 points I think that's a good thing This puts me out down there. This is up to Yuri House. Hey, Bob. Bob, what do you know? I saw that glow come out of the ground all around Scotty's house. I saw little bolts of lightning shooting out of Scotty's roof. Eye is the funniest thing. When Scotty fires up that machine of his, those pink boys in their black suits and glasses really flip their lids. They always run over to Scotty's house and hide in the bushes. So those pink boys are the feds. I, they're all dead. I killed them all. Did you see a strange light? Those were machines of some kind. Fire was shooting out of them. Those things were flying around Scotty's house and the rock circle and around Ben Williams' farm. I think one landed there. So there's that depression in Ben Williams' cornfield. That's where the artifact landed, where it was found and recovered by Fred Black. But I know this already. Let's interrogate a couple more people. C 
seen any odd glow or flashes. Bob said the lights are coming from Scotty's house. Bob was watching those lights fly around. Ask him about it. I remember him saying something like, I hope those machines will teach those B-13 government pink boys a thing or two. Oh, we look are those pink boys run. Hey, Darrow Marrow, that's a very strange question. And the answer is no. <laughs> okay, so this is back at the well. Everything points to the rock circle. But what do I do? How how do I summon aliens? What is the key? What am I missing? Who's this? It's a chi. Why is Itachi wandering around these caves? Let's talk to him. What I dream about is not important. If I see anything strange, I just shoot it and run. You never know when one of those croakers will show up. That's the deep one. Maybe it was just some lights from some ships passing by. You know the lights can shine off of clouds sometimes. Strange light in the sky. Whatever it was, it went, it went north. I just heard the thing and saw a flash outside the window. The thing was really moving and fast, too. Itachi here is one of the feds. I thought they were all dead, but he's just been chilling down in this cave. I murdered all of his partners. Oh, oh, we got something. There is a fire pit. Broken glass and the words keep out written on the cave wall in chalk. Hey, Clay Cree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my right thigh is injured. I'm not very mobile right now. Let's try and dig here. Did I ever try using the P Vortex inductor at night? I don't think I tried using this at night. So let's go back to the rock circle. In the middle of night, the dead of night, I need to first charge the Magneto. Uh, Godi, to answer your question, we are defending Boston from Nyago, the Deep One, as well as aliens. There's also the FBI, which we've murdered, so they're, they're no longer an issue. There's also the Mafia, but I think they're okay. So we don't need to defend against the Mafia. There's also some fish man beasts. But I think those will go away just... No. I don't think those will go away, but we're not going to defend against those. We're just going to run. And there's owls we have to defend against. But I think the owls will go away when I deal with the aliens. Or they might just stay there forever. Boston needs all the help it can get. P vortex inductor charge. Oh, who's this? Bugsy. You know, I did have this dream about this chest of gold and diamonds buried in a cave. Animals are nothing compared to those croakers, but then maybe again those croakers are just animals. If you don't know what a croaker is, don't worry. I'm sure you'll bump, be bumping into one pretty soon. They're five feet of pure ugly. Go ask the Bob guy. Him's the one with the spy glasses. I saw nothing. Okay, Itachi and Bugsy here, they aren't feds. Oh, this is down here. Get, get back in, get back in. These, these are the Mafia. 
For some reason, the Mafia is roaming around in the caves. Is this Mafia too? Is this Itachi? Yeah. Oh, that's right. The caves are connected to the mob. I want to go to Yuri House. So we're going to go this direction. Yes. Uh, let's get some water. This is the closest exit from the caves to the rock circle, which is way up here. So I guess here we go again. Um, I'm going to stop by the post office in town. Maybe I have another letter. It's just, I just, I just don't know what, what to do. It better be this P-Vortex indu inductor. That had better be the solution to all of my problems. It might be a time thing. Like maybe the aliens just appear on day 10 or something. And I just need to wait until that time. Because it seems like I'm unlocking more dialogue options the longer the game progresses. So it could be that the aliens are tied to time as well. Um, post office should be right over here. Very cold, very cold, very cold. This is post office. See a deep one. Get in. Okay. Get mail. Yes. Send letter. Where is my stack of mail? Read letter four. I'm skipping letters here. Why did I get my hopes up? Let's go. <laughs> the most disappointing letter I've ever read. Why did they waste the postage? That wasn't worth 17 cents. Or actually, this is like 1920s. That wasn't worth the nickel it cost to mail. I think that is owls. Deep one. Stay. Stay away. Deep one. Okay, I have to stand still. Run away. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I guess I'm just going to go to Rock Circle again. Oh, 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 um, that's a, that's not a good thing. Deep one just attacked me. That's deep one. Dog. Oh, we're starting to bog down the game with too many, <laughs> too many monsters. You hear the death screams of some hapless beast. What? Run. Why? Why why did hapless beast die? Run. You are getting weaker. I need to, yeah, I need to sleep soon. I'm starting to succumb to the elements. Oh, 
but we have to go to Rock Circle. We're almost here. Whoa, 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 there it is. I was explicitly told to come here. The sky is clear, stars fill the sky. And return this artifact to the aliens. How do I do that specific task? I want to return aliens. I come bearing guy, uh, blah, 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 bad, bad guy. Um, hurry up, get the P Vortex inductor. Okay, use. Turn on! Aliens? Nothing happens. Okay, um, it's staying over there. Let's play some music. Hey, the light's green again. Is it. If it's just a song I need to play, then my goodness, that would be annoying. Cause I don't know how long of a song it needs to be. <laughs> There's no music in the game to like try and replicate. I haven't even seen these colors anywhere except for right here on this on this very same artifact that I am playing them. Oh, oh okay, we're getting we're getting out of here. Thing has come too close for comfort. I guess I'm going to sleep. I'm going to watch the scar the stars. Maybe it's not at Rock Circle. Maybe it's near Rock Circle that Mrs. Scotty? Dice? Carza? Mike? Who's this? Is this Mike? Mike? Okay. Mike? Uh, the whole party's out here. The whole gang. Dice? Mrs. Scotty has nothing useful to tell me. I haven't questioned Mike at all, so let's, let's bust these out. Strange dreams. Keep having nightmares about something watching me from the woods. They are men, but their heads are frog heads and their skin is green. Saw these flashes north of town. Dad started yelling, Fish beast! I jumped under my bed and hid. I didn't see anything. Dice? Dice, dice. Yeah, those were on the north part of the island, round the lighthouse. Looked like lightning, only it was close to the ground. Very close. Made a funny sound. Go ask Scotty. Defendantly summoned up in the air, flying around up there. Made that winning noise. Whining noise. If you are asking me, I think it landed near the rock circle. Maybe those lights are spaceship from Mars. Deep one. Maybe I just need to explore. Who's this? I can't tell who that is. This thing is going to attack. Let's get out of here. So apparently a UFO either just now landed near Rock Circle or... or Scotty, come back. I want to talk to you. Or landed there in the past. Scotty, Scotty, for once I want you to stand still. He doesn't say anything. Scotty, please, just, 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 just be nice. Just tell me exactly what to do. Hey, Cthulhu. <laughs> Maybe the artifact is just a strange toy. I, I I don't know. Scotty told me it was an alien. I forget the words he used. It was an alien artifact, and they need it back, or they're gonna blow up the island. I'm at this point. I'm inclined to trust him. Let's explore the forest 
here. I'm just looking for landmarks to appear in my center circle. Maybe I should be looking at the sky? Pain your leg is increasing. You are getting weaker. Oh boy. Oh boy. I. Oh. Get away. Get away. Get away. Um. This could be bad. This could be not good. Run, please. My move speed is drastically decreasing. I need to sleep. I'm not going to search anymore. Get out of here, please. Uh, nervous. Okay. Whew. This way. We're going to Scotty's house. We're going to go. We're going to go take a nap in Scotty's bed. Maybe Missy, Mrs. Scotty will come join us. Probably not. Probably Scotty may, might come join us. Probably not. Rat pack. Here we go. Safety. No one's home. Just have to pick the lock. Okay. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Um, this is Scotty's room. Sleep. Oh, who, who, who decided to say hello? It was Mrs. Scotty. Hey. I'm sleeping until, okay, my legs are healed. It's now daylight. So we're going to eat some corn. Drink some beer. You know what I don't need? I don't need this gun. Or that gun. I'm going to lighten up my load a little bit. Did my weight just increase when I dropped that? I thought I was under 500 earlier. How am I getting heavier? Beer. Why is there a deep one? It, it's daytime. Why are the deep ones roaming around on daytime? Oh boy, we got way too many NPCs here. The game is slow to a crawl. Okay. Um I don't know what to do. <laughs> I still don't know what to do. This has to be like the final step, the final leg of the game. And I don't know how to proceed. I haven't died yet. <laughs> Getting my zero money's worth. <laughs> Holy smokes, yeah. As far as shareware goes, quite a bit of value in this one. This would absolutely be worth registering for 100 percent i would register this game if that were a thing that were possible to do get the latest version on two high density floppies i could look at them because i don't have a floppy drive <laughs> Doggo. And the map. That would be cool to have a physical copy of that map. That would be cool. We're 
the back. My favorite place. Odd landmark of rocks arranged in a circle. Look at the sky, nothing is there. Search the ground, just some cow feces. Harmonic EMI sender. I sent that harmonic EMI. Extra neutronic gun. I need a target. Scalar auto generator. I've already used this. All it did was cause rain. Maybe I need to use that. And maybe that summons the aliens. Okay, we got ideas now. We got th stuff to test. Heading back to the lighthouse. I'm going to use the Scalo Alto Generator, and maybe that is the same machine that Scotty said caused the rift in the first place. And I can use that to summon the aliens. Maybe, ooh, this could be it. I got a good feeling about this. Because I've used this Scalo Alto, gen Alto Generator once before, and literally all that happened was rain. But I don't think I went to the rock circle after using it. Laura Yearwood, Dice, Karza, I don't like any of you. Don't like any of you people. Please leave me alone. Oh, nice, Bun Bun. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. I figured it was, but I wasn't sure that Rock Island was even a real place, to be honest. <laughs> but I kind of assumed it was. I mean, Boston's a real place. I'd be careful. I don't, I don't know if I would want to visit there after playing this game. I, I would be reluctant to visit Rock Island. There are fish man beasts that roam the night, that roam the island at night. Lockpick. All right, let's take a quick nap. Very, very thirsty. We're gonna just, just, just gonna drink some beer. I'm almost out of beer. Do I have any beer? Can of beer, two beer. Drink, drink, that's much better. Here we go. You plug the device into the lighthouse's generator. The device thunders when you push the on button. That's it. It thunders. So now if we look at the sky, powerful thunderstorm rages over Rock Island. Lightning bolts flash. Turn on the map and let's go see if that summoned aliens or if that just causes the rains to fall. I don't I don't know. And it, if it rains too hard it hurts your skull. So I might end up with like brain trauma. It's like physically damaging to walk in the rain. Oh, who's this? Scotty. Nope, it's this weird lady. Weirdo lady, stay away. Oh, there goes my arm. I hope I survive the walk to Rock Circle. Oh, no, 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 that's an elk. A hideous elk. Two elk. I'm cornered. Stay away, elk. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Doggo. I just killed the dog with a sword. <laughs> Can you imagine how many floppies Doom Eternal would would come on that would be like a briefcase full of floppies it would probably be like 500 that would be incredible here we go we are back at rock circle please please be aliens I'm trying to summon aliens please aliens look at the sky just see thunder I'm very, very thirsty. Just open your mouth, dude. You're in a rainstorm. Just 
trying to play music to summon the aliens. Who's this? Who are you? Naomi? I don't think Naomi has anything to say. Nope. Oh, I was way off. <laughs> 36,000 floppies. <laughs> well, it would depend also if it's three and a half inch floppies, if you're talking five and a quarter floppies. I'm trying to summon aliens. I'm doing my alien summoning dance. Please don't tell me I need to play a very specific song. Because I have no idea what that song would be. What? I don't know what killed me. I'm I'm guessing too much time elapsed. Maybe I got zapped by lightning. Maybe I played the wrong song and the artifact warped and twisted my mind and turned me insane. Maybe I starved. <laughs> no. I ate so much corn and candy. I ate so much corn and candy. <laughs> I just... Maybe I thirsted. I, I'm thinking it's time. Because I don't know what else would be. I don't have a single clue what just killed me. Notice how the rain is still falling, despite the fact that the game has closed. Not even in the same directory as the game. <laughs> the rain is still falling. Oops, start. Maybe I just need to leave. But no. Scotty said that the aliens were going to blow up the planet. I'm going to I'm going to do some testing. I only have maybe 20 or 30 minutes left to kill. I'm going to do some testing. We're just going to go straight strength, stamina, dexterity, life, mental. My game is erased because I died. I don't believe I need any of these. I'm going to get pick locks because why not? Let's put my... Nope, I can't do appearance. Select name. T-E-S-T. -E portrait. We'll just be him. Game two. Start. Game two. I'm gonna go to Scotty's house. Look at this. Look at this walking speed. Oh my gosh. Look at this walking speed. Oh my oh that's oh, oh. okay. 
That was good. Knock. Here's what we're going to do at this moment in time. I'm gonna sleep. One day. Today. Three day. Let's talk to Scotty. I'm not okay, there we go. Three and a half day. So the first four questions you ask him are the same ones. Fifth one, have you had any strange dreams? I think I haven't done anything besides walk here and talk to him. So this fifth question, have you had any strange dreams lately? Must be tied to the length of time that has elapsed in game. My dreams are calling out to me and I need my help. They say there is much more going on here than would seem. Don't trust the strange men in the black suits. The voice I hear in my dreams always comes from the treetops. Maybe these dreams are all clues on how to find the aliens. And I was just fixated on Rock Circle, but there could be more to it than just Rock Circle. All right, we're going to sleep. That's, that's three and a half day. Daylight, day four. Anything new to say? Yes. I saw those three strange men leading around a bear back to their house. The bear had most its hair shaved off its back. I think they're performing ghastly experiments on animals. That's what happened to Ben's cows. After all, they are the only neighbors Ben has on that lonely northeastern corner of the island. Any more dialogue? No. I'm using the old dialogue glitch to ask him questions without using the dialogue mechanic of the game but that shouldn't matter so that's day four night time this will be day five day Scotty nothing the reason I'm doing Scotty in particular is because he's the one that told me about the aliens and the artifact needing to be returned so I, I Really want to get that message again. This is day six, nothing. Six and a half. This is now day seven. Seen any odd glow? That was the afterglow for my high frequency condensers. That is a byproduct of my bion accumulators on my scalar wave machine. Those are indeed words. They don't have any meaning. Day seven, nighttime, go to day eight. Scotimus, strange light. Those were the visitors from another world. They are searching for one of their spaceships that crashed here on July the 13th. They need to find the antimatter pod that was ejected just before the ship crashed. If the pod isn't returned to them, a huge explosion will take place. The Deep Ones want the pod to use as a weapon against all mankind. You must find the pod and contact the visitors at the Rock Circle. See, this is what he told me. I tried, I, I don't know how. I tried to contact Tried to make contact. I was unsuccessful. Okay, so this is day eight. Let's just start sleeping some more. Eight night. Day nine. No questions here. Nine night. Something, there's some dialogue up there. I missed it. Something that wasn't, you were hungry, you were thirsty. Day 10? There's nothing. 
that being my inventory. Am I just going to get a sudden game over? Because it's now nighttime of day 10. Day 11. Wonder where Scotty went. I wonder what that message said. Twelve. Where's Scotty? Oh, that was probably him. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I briefly saw the words use it and they will come. I never got this item. Day 13. Scotty gives you an item. I All I mentioned, all I read because I was skipping, I was hitting spacebar too much to try and just sleep till the next day, was use this and they will come. Scotty? The storm. What happened to you during that bad storm? The storm was caused by the Deep Ones to stop the space visitors from finding the pod. When I was aboard the spaceship, they told me to tell you to find the pod and return it to them. Use the little device I gave you to contact them. So all I needed to do was survive another couple days and Scotty would give me what I needed to contact the aliens. But I just randomly died. On day 10.6 or 10.4. Alright. I believe I'm going to wait till nighttime. I'm going to try and contact the aliens. I don't even know if it needs to be nighttime, but we're going to try and do it at night. I haven't eaten or drinking for two weeks. So we're just going to go zooming. Um, the rat pad is attacking the dog? Okay, I think actually not eating and drinking might actually have an effect on you because I can barely even move. I can barely even move. Let's just use the thing. Look at this pack of rats. I can barely even move. I'm probably going to die here. I'm not even going to make it to the rock circle. I'm just going to die. Just, just eat me rats. Allow me to become one with the earth. Just feast on my carcass. Rats. Please just do your do your dirty work. Just nibble on me. Two rat packs. I think I know how to beat the game now. I don't have time to beat the game today though. We're going to have to restart and beat the entire game Friday. Probably on Friday. Blood sprays as teeth tear into your skin. Teeth rip into your flesh. It should actually be pretty good. Because ideally, I will be able to get an entire playthrough of the game in one sitting on one video. 
first documented evidence, as far as I know, probably not, of a full playthrough of Defender of Boston, the Rock Island mystery. So in order to beat the game, all you need to do is, I'm speculating this is all you need to do, but I think I'm onto something here. Retrieve the artifact. To do that, you need to grab a shovel, head down to the lone willow tree and dig up the key, then head to the feds house, kill all the feds, open the vault, grab the artifact. It's actually a pretty simple process. In the containment vault is a strange creature which you can release for tons of points, so I'll have to do that as well. So that's one of the one of the two main tasks that will prevent the island from being blown up. I think I'm pretty sure. Two, I think I need to seal the cave where the Nyagol is. And to do that, all you need to do is build a bomb, which I have all the ingredients right here. Just need a fuse, a detonator, some explosives, almost everything you need you can just collect. So that will be pretty simple. And then you go down to the caves underneath Yuri house, plant the bomb, kaboom. I'm assuming that's all you need to do because when I did that I got like nine gajillion points. So that seems like a good thing to do. And I think that prevents all the people on the island from dying. So everyone doesn't die, the island doesn't get blown up because the artifacts returned. Then you just head to Dice's house, use the radio to contact the base, ask for escape, hop on the plane, fly away. In reality, this should only take maybe an hour, 90 minutes. So I'm really excited for it. Alas, poor Bilbo again. Just died. He just fainted. He, he couldn't take the pressure and just died. So we weren't able to beat the game today, but we have a very solid path to victory. And the game is still making music, not music, still making noise, even though it has closed. So let's just kill DOS box. So yeah, um, that's going to do it for me for today. It was a good day. Very productive, very productive. I faced my fears. I walked around at night. I ran away from fish beasts. I played some music, and then I died. But thank you, one and all, for hanging out. Thank you for the the big old goatee raid, the follows, the support. I appreciate it very much. I'll be back Friday, and we will finish Defender of Boston. That is the plan. I'm feeling very good about it. Let's find somebody to to raid. Who is streaming right now? Yep, after I died, I got the special device. Good old Scotty. See, I've been skeptical of Scotty this whole time. Turns out he's actually a bro. Scotty's a bro. Um, I will send you guys over to Retro Pals. It's a very fun channel. Playing some Philips CDI Ultra Dank Edition. It's got to be good stuff. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I will see everybody next time. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Adios.
Okay.